project log? Radio. Correction, working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. Let's see if she left any clues about where she went. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Granddad, I know you can't hear this, but I can't think of a better way to say goodbye. You taught me so much, and I won't forget any of it. I'm sorry that we'll never be able to fix up the old clunker we've got sitting in the boathouse. Wherever you are, I, I hope you're at peace. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I... I hope I don't have it again tonight. Um, hello? Testing? <clears throat> Project log. Holotape player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I... Guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there! Oh, damn. Was I recording that? Ugh. Project log. Kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You, you don't know what half that list is, Dad. I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I, I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. <sighs> okay. I know you're disappointed, but I won't be long. I love you. <sighs> I love you too, Dad. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Project log, swings. Reattach the chains, a little rusted, and I'm way too old for them now, but it was a nice distraction, I guess. It's funny, you know, I never played on these swings growing up, even when I was little. At least, I don't remember. Project Blog, Radiation King Television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. She also mentioned that some of the ruins of the television studios are still around if you head to the city. Of course, she wasn't too happy when I asked if we could make a trip out there. Ugh, I'm getting off track. I managed to repair the vacuum tubes and got the power working again, but, well, it's not like there's any working signal for this thing to receive. I'm just going to start stripping this thing for parts moving forward. Project log? Um, myself. I never really 
thought about who or what I am, but God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up, questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I, I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off by boat, but more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist for expenses, if nothing else. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. 
We'll be back as soon as we can. Hey. I'm all ears. Hey, Valentine. Hey, let me ask you something. Is something wrong? Well, I, I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own, a synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing, hello, Institute, can you hear me? Hell if I know. If I am. The Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her, talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor and the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that 
Home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? <laughs>